You're in jail. It's canteen day. And you ordered about 20, 30 bags of shebangs. You've been dreaming about these shebangs for the last two and a half weeks. You go downstairs, get your canteen, commissary, whatever you like to call it, and the bag's fat. Big bag, because you've got about 30 bags of shebangs. You know, that takes up 90% of your canteen bag. But you stuff it up to the brim, walk upstairs, put your canteen away, and you go to open up your first bag of shebangs. Then all of a sudden, your friends come out the woodworks. Now, I can't wait to eat this chip. Oh, oh. It's my shebang. It's my shebang. Back up. Back up. Back up. It's a back up. Nah, you can't have a chip. I'm enjoying this whole bag myself, man. Them damn shebangs in jail have you questioning your whole friendship. All over one chip to share. But anyways, I do have a couple more clips for y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed. Do not forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell if you're new to this channel. We talk about all things prison and crime related, including weird clips like this that remind me of Lock Up. Alright, so for the next clip, uh, we have an individual here. And the title of this video is White Guys Get Gangster 2. I've been showing y'all... A lot of wannabe clips of people trying to act tough and stuff like that. But the fact here is, don't ever get it twisted, man. There's plenty of white dudes out there that go, I guess you could say, hard in the paint. As a matter of fact, when it comes to uh, some of the craziest individuals I've seen, prison and out of prison, was a white dude. Straight trained to go, man. What's up, homeboy? What up? Oh, yeah. ATL, Gwinnett, dawg. Gangsters okay. is Gwinnett. What you know, okay. white boys can get ghetto too, you know what I'm talking about? Shit. Where's Gwinnett? Gwinnett, George, is this, is this some kind of tough place? You know, is it a white hood or something? I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with Georgia. I know they got some dangerous hoods out there, though. For real. Shit. We look fresh Shit. Right too. You know what I'm saying? We get gangster too, just like over in the hood, dog. This is the white hood. We get paper over here too. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. A victim of crime. This slice right there. Broke my hand six times there. Teeth marks. Got that pinky like Dr. Evil. We stabbed about 13, 12, 13 times. Right there. Right there, right there. Slice right there, right there, right there. Two across right there. Stab right there. Shot grazed with a nine twice. That shit burn like a motherfucker, boy. Oh, I gotta turn my light up, man. It's dull up here. My apologies, y'all. There we go. It's better. It's brighter on me now. And for, hey, look. Those look like straight up prison shank stabs. You'll see a lot of individuals who got in a knife fight in prison have these scars all over them because they hit them a bunch of times, but it's usually with some little ass bullshit thing that ain't gonna do too much damage. And that's really all some people can get their hands on. You know, not, it's very hard in prison to get your hands on on a huge piece of steel, you know what I mean? Or plexiglass, or whatever the case. I mean, some prisons, you gotta know people. Cause, I mean, people have been going to that prison for decades. You don't think all that shit's already stripped? So they'll find some little ass shit to make a knife, and that's why a lot of people have a ton of stab marks in prison, but it didn't even hit no vital organs. But I don't know what this individual, I'm just saying. Uh, that's what those scars kind of look like. But damn, he said, I got grazed with a nine. Let me rewind this. This shit funny as hell. This guy's swagged up to the max, man. I swear he is. Shot grazed with a nine twice. That shit burn like a motherfucker, boy. Grazed with a nine. Shit burn like a motherfucker. And I've been hitting here a couple good times. This shit, but I ain't never been knocked out. Never had my ass whooped. So you have been a big victim of crime. You say you got stabbed. Don't like that, Jay, like that, bro. You might be knocked out. You like that filter? Hey, I ain't never been knocked out either, though. Knock on uh, some wood. I got some wood right here. Knock on that. <laughs> yeah. I get my paper on the side, but since that excite me, you know what I'm saying? I guess it's the drugs, the girls, the money. You gotta get paid. I guess it's just the girls, the drugs, the money. You gotta get paid, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Police is another man just like everybody else. They can be food trick. All you gotta do is show them a little bit of respect, and they will ride out, dog. I've been on the run 13 years, shit. Put me over, I give him a different social security number, everything. Be like, thank you, sir. What you need to search your car here, let me open the trunk. Please. You know what I'm saying? Well, there you have it. Coming straight out of Gwinnett, Georgia. Please let me know. I know I'm probably not uh, pronouncing it right, but I've never heard that area before. Let me know if it's a rough spot. All my Georginians out there. But uh, I think this guy's legit. You know, I actually cut a few clips out 
because he was showing a lot of weaponry, and you know how that goes in the tube realm. Probably wouldn't have been able to show you any of this video if I had it in there, but unless it's a music video. Music videos are totally different. You can show anything you want in them, right? <laughs> it's art. It's art. Anyways, next clip. Straight treacherous. Gangster to the core. The dude might not be so much a legit gangster, but what he did was probably one of the most gangster things I've ever seen, man. Not really, but it was close. All right, so we got a Domino's delivery driver with his uh, dash cam, of course, playing the safe route because a lot of people, believe it or not, steal and rob from pizza delivery guys. The, the order of pizza and uh, their whole intentions from the beginning wasn't to get the pizza. It's to get the car and the cash. Pizza guys got a dangerous life too, you know. But the title of the video is Man Steals Domino's Car in Under 30 Seconds. And it's not so much of him stealing it that's crazy. It's what happens during this ride. It's unbelievable. Look, here he comes, right side. Bingo. Slow it down, bro. He's already pairing that shit to the car. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, it's a cop. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. This dude is like tripping now obviously the dude sees a police officer one of the first things you never do when you see a cop get behind you is panic you never reach for your seatbelt real fast and do all kinds of crazy stuff you just remain calm right this dude's doing everything you shouldn't do when a police officer gets behind you he's for sure going to jail right looking in the oh, mirror da, da, da. he's suspect that cop behind him's like man we got a winner but he's cool he ain't hit the lights yet that's one of the most scariest times especially if you're dirty or you're on the run or something when the cops behind you right in your blind spot or just directly behind you and he doesn't turn his lights on for about five minutes of following you you're like is he gonna leave me alone is he gonna pull me what's he gonna do usually it takes a little bit of time because they're running your plates holy you got the lights so on cool. his whole life is flashing before his eyes right now he's probably getting sober by the second Man, what kind of police is that? With the Texas hat, too? With the 50-gallon yes, hat? Nah, you're done for. Yes, sir. All right, doing Texas Highway Patrol. Reason for you stop, you, uh, you change lanes over there, kind of went on safe. You got your license prevention or something? No, sir, I have it available right now, sir. I apologize. Okay, I, I Are you know. Been, uh, you on any type of drugs, any influence? No, sir, I'm completely on sober, 100%. Okay. All right, what I'm uh, asking right now, because I know you're kind of sweating and so... Damn cops, you, you could have just left the gym sweating. They're going to think you're on meth. But this guy, you know, he's obviously probably on something here. All right, you can't even freaking say a sentence right. You can't even say a sentence right. He's sweating. He, his pupils are probably like, damn, massive. Stop, Boy. Tripping, homie. What the fuck? He let him go. That fool let him go. He can't believe it. And the Lord is looking down upon this fool. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when you relax and keep calm. Chive on. That shit's crazy, bro. <laughs> Woo!